Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> I'd like to say what a lovely afternoon it is, but apart from not being at work anymore, we're on our way to Sunny Honey. Sunny Honey, here we come. But, oh, just come in front of us, mate. Why don't you? Um, sorry, but we got a bit of rain on the windscreen, haven't we? Mm. And what was the driving like on the way? That's very... Well, it's not high winds, it's just very gusty, isn't it? We have a few places, don't we, where you suddenly come to open fields and things. Yeah, you've got trees either side, then it's nothing. And before you know it... I was literally driving <laughs> like that to try and keep it straight. I thought he fell asleep. I thought we was going that side. <laughs> but it doesn't even blow you. It's gusty, so yes. you, you're having to work it all the time. That's yeah. the only negative about driving a motor home, but it don't bother me. Anyway, we've had four and a half days at work. It's been quite a long week this week, isn't it, compared to three last week. And yeah. um, we thought we would go out in the motorhome and pop to the seaside that we really like going to, don't we? Because yeah. it's our local one. Sunny honey. Sunny honey, but maybe without the sun. We will see. Anyway, nothing else much to report, I don't think, have we? Well, what's there this weekend? Oh, it's the soapbox race. We didn't realise that, did we, when we uh, booked it? No. We were talking to some friends and they said, let's let's do Sunday. Let's do a fish and chip restaurant on the Sunday. Oh, I miss that light now. And um, so we said, yeah, we'll go. We'll do that Sunday. And we booked up, didn't we? And then yeah. we found out it was soapbox, which is... Brilliant, because yeah. we like we like watching them. Don't yeah, we've we? been a few times before, haven't we? So hopefully we'll be able to get a bit of that in for you tomorrow. But I'm telling you now, if it's really windy and rainy, we're not going down there. No, <laughs> I don't know if it, I don't know if it still happens. If it is, I suppose it does. I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, I bet it goes. I bet it carries. It on. probably goes whether it's rain, sunny, or shining, or whatever it's Might doing. Might we put the rain gear on and off we go? Yeah. Might need to put the wets on, eh? Yeah. The wet, slick tyres. Oh, we're just on the roundabout, which I hate, because... Uh, it's the biggest roundabout in the world, It is a it? huge roundabout, and... Um, it's the King's, King's Lynn roundabout. I, oh, look, he's just come in front of us. I know. Nobody actually knows how to use these roundabouts, do they? They snake in and out, and the funny thing is, they rush in front of you. I'm just going to turn it around... And I'm not kidding, all these people in front of us rushed in front of us up that roundabout, didn't they? Yeah. And we've caught up with them because they just really haven't got any further. But I think also, doesn't this one go into... Oh, this is the bit where it goes into one, isn't it? Yeah. We've done that bit, haven't we? But, yeah, it does annoy me when There's people... There's a lot of arguments just here. There's a car at the side of me trying to get in. I can see him, and the guy behind won't let him in. Look, you can see it on the mirror. No, look. I can see him in your window, actually. But it's still holding out, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying because we all calmly go down the road and the odd ones think, oh, I'm going to beat you. But then suddenly they expect you to let them in and they just annoy you, don't they? Yeah. You can't. Well, there's, I've seen so many, so much road rage on that corner there yeah. where two goes to one. And they both think they've got the right of way. They both just push forward, don't they? Yeah. It does make me laugh. And then I think it's a bit of chicken at the end as to who... Yeah, who's got the newest car? Yeah. Or who dare have the, a little bump on their car <laughs> if they need to. Well, we're nearly here. Well, we're out on Stanton now. Yeah, you're a little bit gutted, aren't you? It's rained on my nice clean motor home. <laughs> no, it's not so it's the rain, it's the splashing you get up with it. No. It started to rain a little bit, didn't it? And you thought, oh, maybe we'll get there in time. But we have had a bit of a downfall, haven't we? Yeah. Little anyway. job for me on Monday. <laughs> it's not going to do all these jobs on Monday. <laughs> I'll do it Monday. I'll do everything Monday. <laughs> he doesn't say which Monday. No. Anyway. It would be lovely if it stopped raining. I think it has just stopped raining. It's just a little mizzle a little in the air. A little bit in the air, but he talks about it all afternoon, doesn't it? So I'm going to turn you around. I know I've yeah, shown you... Yeah, because over this round a bit. Yeah, turn I know I've shown you sales before but I think last time it was quite a quick um, 
Yeah, you can't get your camera out. <laughs> what a quick entrance, man! It. So it's literally over this roundabout, isn't it? And then. And we're here. Yeah. And then we're here. Reception. And then you've got the little sea lion or seal. Oh, they've got it working now. Yeah, it's not normally working, is it? No. Uh, check in time 2 pm, that's good because it's gone 2 pm. And hopefully it should let us through, shouldn't it? We're here. <laughs> we set up. I didn't realise you'd started then. Um, the incident, oh yeah, we just need to go up a little bit at the front. So we've got the little yellow chocks, is that what they're called? Yeah, yeah. I went up them and they just went <laughs> sank. <laughs> The ground's quite soft. We're on a complete grass pitch, which we, we was, thought it was one of them with a half and half. Well, with the plastic bits in the grass, so I think a bit like them opposite. Yeah, like the fully serviced ones seem to have that. Then, anyway, so they had to be dug out. I know we should have vlogged it, but it was raining as well, and honestly, no, I couldn't, couldn't be bothered. Have done that. It was too wet. Um, and so we've now got the bigger ones on, haven't we? Which we don't use very often, but it's a good job we had them. But they just go up there like perfect, don't they? Yeah. They are really good, them big ones, and they go up four times. So we're on number three, aren't we? Yeah, number three. So anyway, that took all of ten minutes. The kettle's been put on. We've got a cup of tea, and um, the electric is literally six foot away from the electric point. So that was easy. Cool. You, I actually keep a short lead. So oh, so you've got the little one. I've now, got the yeah. little short lead here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I've got my cup of tea. Yeah, I did I not get a drink then? <laughs> you got your latte. And um, we're now just going to sit and watch the caravaners set up, who turned up just after us. We're so lucky because <laughs> I actually drove fault fronted onto their pitch to reverse into my space. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to do that now, would you? No. But. It is quite nice, isn't it, watching people set up. Don't know if it's raining, it may just be a little mizzle at it's the It's just that fine rain that gets you soaked. Yeah, the fine rain that gets you wet, you know, rain that gets you wet. they're all out there straight. putting their awnings up they and whatnot. Like We're out. It's seven o'clock at night and it's bloody freezing. Yeah, it's raining because it's freezing. Honestly. It is cold, but... We've had January days warmer than this. <laughs> You're just being a wimp. <laughs> He said his ears are cold through his hat. Honestly. It is so cold. Admittedly, my cheeks are cold. But um, it's going to be even colder when we go that side where the sea is. I know. But That's where we're going to take you. Can you hear the seagulls? They're all going because it's too cold for them. <laughs> Colder this side, but we knew it would be, didn't we? It's bloody freezing. That's what it is. <laughs> that was unbelievable on there. We feel as if we've done a marathon. <laughs> we've literally just walked into the fair, which is obviously all shut down. But yeah, the difference between walk along the front there and here. Well, just coming through this little gap, <laughs> isn't it? Well, it's that big thing there that's stopping the wind, isn't yeah. it? But, but yeah, you good. don't see the fair like this very God. often. I haven't felt cold like that walking along the seafront for a long Look, time. The toilets are open. Go in there, go under the hand dryers and warm yourself up. I'll tell you what I am gutted with though. What? Well, there's no donuts open. Can't get one of them though. <laughs> it's Look seven o'clock at night. <laughs> Look at all them. <laughs> we could eat all them, couldn't we? Do you know, I don't think I could. I could. <laughs> We now come back to sales, yeah. and it's a lot calmer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we're on the on sales site now. This is like the the main entertainment bit, isn't it? Coming up. Yeah. But I think I said it on the last one we did. The fish and chip shop at sales is amazing, isn't it, Jack? 
It is, but um, we didn't get any tonight, did we? No. I cooked dinner instead. Well, we're having fish and chips tomorrow for lunch, so <laughs> can't really, can we? No. We can't. But yeah, there's a... Nisa. There's a Nisa there, it's quite a big one. Fish and chip shop over there. Laundrette. Another place that's anti-scooters. No one likes scooters, do they, Jack? No. They're like the devil, aren't they? Yeah. So I think this is a first, isn't it? For us? Well, we didn't see it here last time we come, did we? Well, it's, no, it's new, but on any side. Yeah. So we've got a electric vehicle charger. Yep. So there's a the space. So yeah, there's a golf course, there's fishing lakes. Bowls, driving range. The tang. It's everything, isn't is there? Yeah. Yeah, a bit of all sorts, isn't there, for people? And then you've got the little bit of water. Ducks everywhere. But I can't see a duck now, we've got the camera out. No. <laughs> no, normally you're looking here and it's absolutely full of ducks. Yeah. Isn't it? I think they've all gone to bed. There's the toilet blocks. Considering how many people are on this site they, they're actually quite clean are they? I haven't yeah. been so the only thing is they're not heated are they not? no well I don't think so what have we got here? I'm hoping they're going to be though in the morning because <laughs> I want mosh air or... look at the look at the height we've had to put on the front Oh, the night lights come on. <laughs> Can I um, have your hand? Go on, old girl. Oh, you're you freezing. Come. And again. Well, <laughs> like I say, this waterproof jacket. You can feel me. <laughs> hasn't got no lined pockets, so my hands are freezing. You can feel. I'm lovely and warm. Well, you've got a nice thick warm coat. <laughs> What do I say? Dress sensibly. I know. Well, I ain't got a thick warm coat left that's any good. You are just very stupid. I know. Morning, morning, morning. Morning. It's uh, Sunday. The sun's trying to come out. Yeah, it was out a minute ago, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, and... Well, it doesn't talk about being sunny today, No, but it? it sort of warms them out at home up a little bit, doesn't it? Mm. And um, there doesn't seem as much wind as yesterday, but we are inland a little bit at the moment, aren't we? Mm. So we're just waiting for friends to come and then we're going to have a stroll down to the front um, see what the soapbox race is doing and fish and chips Yeah <laughs> Well, we've walked up town, haven't we? Yeah It isn't a lot warmer, is it? No, but my body's warm, my face is cold and uh, we've just turned to where the soapbox race is, haven't we? Yeah, and it's leaving It, it is leaving <laughs> I'll turn you around Crowds, crowds of people. Never seen on Stanton so busy. Unbelievable. There's birds all over the place, and we're in the middle of Unstanton. <laughs> Jackie, what are you after? Mirror. Need a mirror. Oh, we'll be cushion. Not working. That doesn't work, does it? Yeah. Oh, that one does. It's not very much. No, no. Oh, we're done. Okay. <laughs> 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 God, dancing us. <laughs> Joke. God, you're sweating that. Look at it. You want a little hat with that? You want a little hat with that and a little candle holder? <laughs> 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 38 miles an hour! <laughs> 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 Maybe most stinky. 
At 34 miles an hour! Just look so slow. <laughs> oh, she nearly flew over that. This has got to be a fastest speed. What do we think? Waiting to find out. 36, maybe 37. It was fast, but not quite fast enough. Let's hear it again then for Team Booby making their way to the finish. Wow, she looks fast. Team woman. <laughs> the JJD Sports Shoe survived. Uh, uh, a near horrific incident just there, uh, went on one wheel almost but somehow managed to make it back on all four and to the finish line and despite that still hit 20 miles an hour, uh, 35 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour for the gestures, well done Tanya, Alex, Tim and Russ, great performance. That was cool looking. It was it? quite fast, wasn't it? That looked was... like 32 roads, did, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, that did look quite good. And he literally took that bend just inches away. Yeah. Well, <laughs> right, here we go then. Yeah. Coffee and cake. Hot chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Look. That's why I had it. It's a big bit of cake, right, isn't it? Lovely. No Lovely. problem for you, that, in there, is it? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Well, our friends have just left. Yeah. And as they left, they decided to. Coffee and cake has been spotted. So it's nice they paid for it. Yeah. So the bonus is if we come to the coffee pot, we never have to pay because we didn't pay for it last time. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but the trouble is next time we come, Jackie, it'll be empty. Um, and not come again. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just invite these two. <laughs> It'll be cheaper. We're hoping to move on to another little spot for a couple of hours this morning. Just not sure if we're going to get it though. Good morning. I just abruptly put it on when we was emptying the waste. So we've left the campsite, haven't we? Yeah, we're driving through on Sandton Town Centre. Yeah, just driving through on Sandton. So this is where we were yesterday, where we was watching the. Um... This was actually the races here. Yeah, this is. We was actually stood just here on the oh, road. Oh yeah, because they'd actually taken those poles down as well, hadn't they? Yeah. Um. So just up here. If We're anybody's, hoping and praying, if, isn't if we? Body's never been. If you um, come at the right time, you can get a parking space, and it's a free parking space, isn't it? Yeah. You're not allowed to overnight park, but you can stay for the day, can't you, between yeah. certain hours? So let's just turn it around, and we'll see. Or you can see where the cars are parking. Oh, because there's gaps. There is. I've seen a motorhome up there as well, so yeah, we'll get parked here, no problem. So this is where you come to, isn't it? So there's a bowls club, look, and there's all the gardens yeah, here. Uh, we'll walk down if we can get parked, but, well, there is that. Oh no, it's yellows, double yellows, just there. But this is all right. There's so yeah, loads, look here. Loads and loads, look. So anywhere. I'm going to get up here, so we're in the sun and we're level. I think these okay. motorhomes have had the same idea, if I'm honest. We want to try so, and get yeah. near a park bench, so we can have a park bench near a back door. <laughs> so this is this is our view for a few hours, isn't it? Actually, on the cliff top. So we've got a little bench here. Look, if we want it, just here. We'll park there. Motorhome in front. Lots of motorhomes. Cool. We've we've actually been 
for the day here, aren't we? Yes, but we have um, we sort of like left home and got here for eight, eight o'clock, and yeah. we've and I mean. It was just a last minute thought, wasn't it, really? You yeah. said, oh, I think we'll try and park up along the front. And it's like, we're never going to. But if not, we were just going to drive home. Well, you was going to cook a full breakfast, weren't you? And yeah. I said, let's just, um, let's just go. Let's just get, if we park on the cliff tops, we've got full day, haven't well, we? Well, I'm not being funny. If I wanted to, I could cook a full breakfast now. Well, yeah. you just got to put the gas on. Yeah, I've got to go and put <laughs> the gas on anyway. Yeah, because we need to put the fridge on. Because although we're, our fridge, by the way, is... Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? So last week when we came away, we couldn't use the fridge on anything. Battery, electric or gas, could we? No. So when we came home that day, we did take it to the garage and they said, yep, bring it in. They looked at it the next day, then rung us up and said, we've had the fridge out, we've managed to clear the codes and it's working now on electric and It said he basically gas. unplugged every connection, plugged them all back in again and it worked. I said, really? And he said, yeah. He says, them fridges, what you've got, he said, they're a nightmare. He said, any tiny, tiny little bit of moisture gets in one of the connections and he said, they'll, they'll stop and they'll put an error code up. Yeah, which they did. But he did say, I can't get it to work on the battery. No, he said there's a, a, a solenoid. Or relay yeah, or relay something. relay or something gone. And unfortunately, so he's a, a, a caravan, a motorhome place. He's not actually a garage, is he? He doesn't lift the bonnet. No. So it is a case now, not that Ian knows where to start at the minute, um, just to see what's happening. Well, I can fix it. I've just got to find it. Yeah. So we're just going to switch the gas on. To pop the fridge on, aren't we? Yeah. And, um, and we're here till as long as we want. Put our coats on and go out for a little wander. Right. <laughs> I've got my purple teddy bear here. <laughs> well, it's not meant to rain, but I'm not sure how breezy it is. It is so warm in here, isn't it? It's lovely. We might be back in a minute for a big coat. I'm alright, I've got my teddy bear on. She dress sensibly. And there we are parked because we've been coming here for years and years so there's the fence you can't go any further than that if you look there there's the old fence and behind that is another fence Oh. Just, over time, the um, the cliffs erode, don't they? And they okay. keep losing a bit of land. So probably half of this will be gone by the time we're dead. Well, I'm not dying yet. <laughs> <laughs> don't plan on dying yet. <laughs> Please. No, but it just shows, doesn't it? The erosion, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible, yeah. really. Because real soft, like, reddy cliff, isn't it? Here? Yes. Red and white. We might walk down, we might not. Just depends how energetic we feel. I think we should. Well, we can do. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a cliff that you don't see very often because of the colours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bit unusual. Well, we'll come up here and we've got some gardens to walk through, haven't we? Go walk through the gardens and then we've got to, then we've got to find a way down. I think which we lots, know. I think there's lots of steps somewhere. Yeah, there is. We'll do that then, shall we? Okey dokey. Oh, I could video you doing. Well, there is a calf just there. Look, we could get breakfast. <laughs> so, yeah, there we are. Ian, just to look, you're not going to get it. Look at that deer or something. Oh, wow. Can you see it? Yeah, that's amazing. There's Where's actually a deer from? perched on the edge of the cliffs. That? You can't believe the difference between Saturday and Monday, can No, you? no, it's beautiful. It's lovely. I mean, we're actually on the beach here and it's, you don't even need your jackets on really, well, do you? Well, no, it's, it is very nice. And as I say, we've seen that deer come Monk, monk yeah. Jack up there. Yeah, the Monk Jack. And we've gone there on the cliff in front of us, but we've got all the seagulls at the top, which I yeah. don't think. Well, there's lots of different birds nesting in there. There is actually. Yeah. But this bit, this is one of the bits that's um, <coughs> fallen down recently, so you can and the, you can really see the um, 
you can really see the redness of the cliffs here you can really see the different layers so it's white and orange and it's I don't know how good this is picking it up because it's in the shade but it's really bright and sort of orangey red then it goes down to a brown yeah it's incredible really Now you do get a lot of fossil hunters on the beach here. I mean, the rocks are crazy. We've all got so much going on with them. But I'll say there's warnings everywhere. You can see the cracks in the cliffs. They're crumbling all the time and falling. But, um, yeah, the, um, the rocks on the... Um, on the beach here, they're, um, they're very strange. Kids live hopping over all this lot. But they're like sort of brown sandstone, and they're all really beaten. I'm, I'm presuming they're just um, remnants of what was the cliffs that have just fallen in, and um, yeah. Just walked all the way up now, haven't we? Oh, got unzipped now. But it's quite a high when you look at it. <laughs> it's easy going down. We've come up to the information bit. Have a little look to see what's on here, can't we? Yeah. <sighs> so that's the lookout. So it's not going to be on that. I think it's going to be this one. Oh, here we go. Look, later's yeah. time. Here. Right, tell us what's what then, Jackie. Oh. If you could travel back 112 million years to an era where there was at the bottom of a warm tropical sea, the stripes of different coloured rocks were laid down at the bottom of oceans between 93 and 112 million years ago, during what is known as the, as the Cretaceous period. The global climate was much warmer and sea levels higher than today. The land you're standing on was closer to the equator and had a climate similar to the Bahamas today. By looking closely at the layers of rock and the fossilised remains preserved within them, we can discover what life was like millions of years ago. So, okay, so, so we've got one, which is, is white chalk, yeah. two, red chalk. Why is it red then? The rare limestone was laid down roughly 99 to 108 million years ago. Its red staining comes from the presence of limonite, a type of iron ore, which is yeah. what you said. Yeah. Contains the fossilised remains of animals that lived in the deep sea, such as belemites, similar to cuttlefish and squid, and brachiopods, shellfish. And then number three, which is this layer, is Karsten, the oldest rock exposed here, laid down 108 to 112 million years ago, made of sand particles bound together with a cement of iron oxide, which gives it the rusty brown colour. Look for bands of small round pebbles. Their presence suggests that at times the sea was shallow with lots of waves rolling and polishing the pebbles. There you go. And then your white chalk is the youngest rock in the cliffs, laid down roughly 93 to 99 million years ago, made almost entirely of prehistoric plankton, the remains of microscopic plants that lived in a deep warm sea. Its purity suggests that the, cork, that the chalk was laid down when the sea was far from land, with no debris washing from the shore to stay near. I feel as if I'm back at work now when I used to do talks. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. It's the chalk, the white chalk, the red chalk, and the castor. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen the red like this anywhere else. But well, can I we just really look that? Hard no, can I just it. say it's just here. And Stanton's stripy cliffs are special, so special in fact that they are the site of special scientific interest for their geology. This is one of the most important geological sites in the UK, yeah. and it's on our doorstep. So. Where we were, yep. there were steps there, weren't they? They were, and because we've been coming for over 50 years, we would have remembered the steps. Yeah. 
and then it says here that in 1999 they replaced the steps to ramps yeah so that makes sense then what yeah, we does, remembered and what it is now yeah so yeah it's funny things change and you forget and then all of a sudden you remember and I mean these boards that places put up now is good isn't it for people to yeah, learn about it is lovely yeah so we just literally walked there's the gardens there and this is the road that we parked on a bit further down there and can I just say for anybody who if they did want to come that road is called Cliff Parade yeah 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 just sat and have it as Cliff Parade yeah but I think we're just gonna have a little wander around now, a little mooch yeah. around. Can't stop and have a coffee or some it's lunch. It's five past or... eleven, so we probably will stop and have yeah. a bite to eat, won't we? Yeah. What's going on, Jackie? Oh, we've got dinner. <laughs> Sausage and mash, because I'm afraid that's what I like. And a cup of black tea. Oh, a cup of black tea, lovely. And I've got the old classic. Oh, have you got it classic? <laughs> I didn't realise it was that close. <laughs> So I've got scampi and chips. Yeah. And we're back at Joe's place, isn't it? Yeah. So that's our view out the window, look straight over the green at the sea. Lovely. Cracking. We're really old now, we're having a little sit down. We sat down on a nice bench. <laughs> got me coat. We've got a nice little view though, haven't we? It's lovely. I'll give it to see. And it, it's lovely and warm, isn't it? Yeah, I know we keep saying it, but it is really lovely and warm. Yeah. That so sun is just burning on you. What a shame the whole weekend weren't like this. Mm, never mind. We have to have a different type of weather. Well, you don't appreciate it if it's all the time, do you? No. Can you see Jay Rat yet? Oh, I can see her. I can hear the kettle boiling already. <laughs> there we are. Here you look at the sea now, look. Look at all the different colours. You've got sandy, yeah. you've got baby blue. It's nearly pearl blue over there, look, isn't it? Yeah. Very different, isn't it, when we first turned up? Jackie's checking, no one's at the motor home. <laughs> it's red hot in here, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Oh. You know what we need to do now, don't you? Well, I need to drink, you're going to sleep. We'll have a little nod, I think. <laughs> That's it. I've just had to wake Ian up. He's had just over an hour's sleep. That has been nice, it's been lovely and warm in here, and I've just had a little nap. <laughs> Well, I think he had nearly an hour and a half, in fact. Well, I've sat down, had a latte, didn't we, in here? <laughs> and, chocolate uh, bar. A chocolate bar. And they just shut my eyes and Jackie woke me up about an hour, uh, ten minutes ago and said that was an hour. I said, look, you've got to drink your drink before you close your eyes, because I know once you're gone, you'll be gone. Anyway, it has been beautiful sitting here. Well, we've actually just been outside, haven't we? And it's lovely, isn't it? Turn the gas off and whatnot, and um, the the side of the motorhome home is warm, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. To touch. And people are in their t-shirts. It's um, beautiful. Everybody walks past points at the motor. Yeah, home, they so do. Don't they? they do have a look at it. Um, Not just this one. There's quite a few down there. Yeah, and there's a guy just down there. Um, Sitting outside on his chair drinking his cup of tea. Falling asleep. I drank mine in here with Ian, but um, yeah, it's lovely out there. It's just so nice to get a little bit of summer weather back in it or spring weather. Or well, it's the start it. of it, isn't yeah. it? So, if you like what you see, if you could like, subscribe, and ring the bell again is wonderful. It just helps us grow. And for now, I'm going to say bye. Adios. And we'll see you on the next one.